Welcome back, everybody. So, after a 22-hour day yesterday on the road, making several stops, dropping some stuff off, and picking some other stuff up, we brought home another K. Now, a few of you are going to ask, why another K? Well, it was a decent deal. I couldn't really pass up on it. And we're actually missing the other part of this yet. You guys will see it soon, but this does have a pull type scraper, and this also has a hydraulic unit on the back. Undercarriage is fairly decent. Grousers aren't quite as tall as the other K that I have, but that's all right. This is a wide unit. If you look right in there, you can see how they space them out. And then of course they run a wider spring. Now when I was chaining this down, I did notice it's a little different that this runs like a partial hard bar on that spring. So that was a little bit different. Another different thing about this crawler is this started life as a diesel. This was a KO, not a just a K. And to prove that to you guys, those are injectors that got left in when they converted these back to gas. So Alice made a few of these diesel crawlers and they didn't have that great of luck with them. So it was an option to bring them back to the dealer and the dealer would convert them back. Another giveaway of a diesel, they have twin stacks, whereas a gas only has a single manifold. This engine is a little bit different than what's in the other crawler. Another unique thing, this is an old enough unit, still has a steering wheel. Uh, it shifters different, we'll kind of climb up there, I'll show you guys that quick. Okay, so up here in the operator's platform, see you got your gauges up here. This is a choke lever, we need to fix that. They broke the knob off, so they've been using a vice grip on it. We'll put a whole new cable in. The cable's getting hard to pull. So down here, this is the shifter. Now the way this works, you actually pull in and out on it. It's a little different. It will return to the neutral position. It's just an H pattern. But to get to the left side of the H, you'd push in. To get to the right side, you would pull out. And then once you're out, you can push up or pull down, depending on what gear you would like. Throttle is right here. It's a little different. My other K, it's up here. But I suppose with the steering wheel, they didn't want that interference. Now the steering wheel only turns so far. And you can actually feel like right there is nothing. That's steering clutch. Nothing, steering clutch. And so then on the left side here you have a hand clutch, foot pedals for brakes, and then down farther up underneath here is the start button. So, I'm going to get this unchained, we're going to get it unloaded here. drive the K down here just to compare size wise how big it is compared to the D4 7U being that the 7U 
has a, it's a wide tractor, has the wide pads, has the extended track frames. Other than the track frame being longer on the cat, actually the Alice is pretty close in size. It's actually physically taller, so it has more ground clearance, but I still think that would win out pulling that. But just wanted to kind of do a size comparison here. What do you two think? You like the new crawler? Finn, your collar almost matches. Maybe we'll have to get you a yellow one instead. Thanks for watching, everybody.